All right, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite all-time writers in the book collection I got. It's Gene Wolfe. I've got... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 Gene Wolfe books. By no means is this everything he's written. I don't have everything he's written, but I've got most of what he's written, and I've got most of it in first edition hardcover. Most of it. Let's start with my favorite stuff and work down to my least favorite stuff. So my favorite stuff is clearly his Book of the New Sun trilogy. No, trilogy. Five books isn't a trilogy. What is five books? Five books is a five book series. That's what you call five books. There's trilogy, and there's four books, and then there's five books, and uh, six, seven, eight. There's one book, two books, trilogies, four or five. I mean, trilogy is the only thing that there is. Everything else is just a one or two or a five or a ten book series. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Anyway. The Book of the New Sun starts with The Shadow of the Torturer. You, I have reviewed every single book in this five-book series. You can see them on my channel elsewhere. I have not reviewed any other Gene Wolfe books, but, but I will. I'll eventually get to them. But let's talk about The Book of the New Sun, which is my favorite. It is about the Torturer, the um, Shadow of the Torturer, Severian, the Torturer, the Tortured torturer who uh, you know escapes uh, not really escapes he kind of gets kicked out of the torturer's guild and has to go off onto a journey throughout the land on his own and it's just it's one of the most bizarre things you'll ever read it's the uh, most bizarre fantasy slash science fiction stuff you'll ever read because at first you think it's fantasy but by the end of book five you're like this is 100 percent science fiction and it's just, you'll, you just have to read it to get it. And not only that, but Gene Wolfe is one of the masters of the language. He's like the literate, he's like, the, he's like, um, he's like one of the few science fiction fantasy writers that does literary fantasy, you know, where his prose is so great and his stuff is so deep and there's so much meaning, allegory and, um, theme wrapped in every book and every word and every sentence and every paragraph. It's just one of the great delights of my life is to reread all of this stuff and, and uh, um, review it for the show. But let's uh, let's uh, look at each cover. So, you know, we've got the great Don Mates cover here for book one, Shadow of the Torturer. Book two, again, the Claw of the Conciliator, another great Don Mates illustration. Book three, Sword of the Lictor, another great Don Mates illustration. Book number four, The Citadel of the Autark, another great Don Mates illustration, but for some reason they framed it in this wildly blue whatever, you know. And then book five, they decided, let's abandon illustration altogether and just do this. So nothing matches now. You know, but when you put them all together on the shelf, the colors, aside from the... I mean, it goes white, 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 crazy blue, crazy gold. But what can you do? All in all... Very well put together. Very good. Well done. Now let's look at my second favorite series that um, Gene Wolfe has done. And that is this. And this, if you thought this was bizarre, they just get more bizarre as they go. Now we're talking about his four book series, Book of the Long Sun. Now this thing is dope. This has got like just from the let's just put this out there in the ether right now. Everything that Gene Wolfe writes, like I said, is like literary fiction set in fantasy science fiction world. That goes for every book here. 
Now, let's talk about these books. The Book of the Long Sun is about, this is science fiction, and um, starts out as science fiction, but by the end of it, you kind of like, maybe it was fantasy, but um, it starts out, first of all, we've got The Night Side of the Long Sun is book one. It's got a great illustration by, um, I think it's Richard Bober. Yeah, Richard Bober. He did all the illustrations for this series. Um, starts out on a big, huge spaceship that is reminiscent of the Rendezvous with Rama spaceship. Where the if you if you remember the Rendezvous with Rama spaceship, it was it was the Rendezvous with Rama spaceship is a big tube that spins, and it's a huge such a huge tube that the inside of it is just filled with buildings and plants and animals i mean and it spins it's like a generational starship actually the this will probably give you a good idea of what i'm talking about so the next two covers by richard bober will give you uh so the lake of the long sun so i don't know if you can see but this they're inside the spaceship which is and they're inside this big tube it's it's got this circular thing and so that's where it all takes place. This one's even better. It's got a better little look at the... This is another one, the Ocean of the Long Sun. So you can see down here at the bottom the cities and stuff and the lakes. as In the cities and cities and the cities and then it goes over. and You know, it's just... The tube, the tube spins and it spins so much and it's so vast and big that the gravity just clings everything to the side even the water and everything and then they, then they fly little steampunk spaceships and stuff in the middle of it and then uh the exodus from the long sun and you know this is inside one of the buildings that's in the big spaceship clearly anyway this is just great stuff too here this is great stuff too I don't, I can't even begin to explain what this is even about. It's almost like, Gene Wolfe is almost like unexplainable. And then we've got his two book series, Soldier of the Mist and the Soldier of Arit. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I like these covers just because, you know, um, well, they match. In fact, these covers match better with book number five of this series than book number five of this series matches with its own brothers and sisters over here. But anyway, these this is about a soldier that loses his memory, uh, kind of like a Jason Bourne-esque thing. It's kind of like in, set in ro old ancient Greek Roman times and... Um, uh, the soldier just doesn't remember who he is and has to figure things out from there. That's about all we're going to talk about with that one. And then there's this big, huge, uh, um, the Wizard Knight. Now this is a ma uh, this is a big, huge, um, seven hundred page. Uh, actually, it's eight hundred pages. Uh, omnibus edition of two other novels that he did called Wizard and Knight. And um, I'll be honest with you, I have not read this one yet, so we'll, we'll see what it's about. Now there's um, three more that I have not read, and these three, this is a trilogy, because it's three books. Remember how earlier in the video we went over what trilogies were, as opposed to five book and ten book series and one book series? This is another trilogy, which is a sequel, or quite possibly a prequel, I don't know, because I have not read these yet either but it's a sequel or prequel to the book of the long sun four book series and this is the tour editions and i, I like that they uh, made them you know all kind of look uniform on the spines good good i mean they did that with this one too so the tour books did that with those those look all pretty good you know we got a blue a yellow a blue and a yellow and then if we go ahead and put the sequel or prequel trilogy next to it, it, yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. Now, I don't know what this one's about. Um, I think this one, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even want to speak on it. Um, but we'll read them and review them eventually. But it's The Return to the World, The Greens, In Greens, Jungles. Oh, uh, no, what is it called? Yeah. And then um, 
on Blue Waters with with uh, with um, covers all illustrated by Jim Burns, who's a great, great um, British illustrator. I do think that this one is a little odd. I mean, the guy does so many great illustrations. I hate to criticize just one that I don't like, but I, I I'll be honest. I think that's I don't like that one. But this these two are pretty pretty, pretty cool. So we're gonna we're gonna give them a two out of three. Ain't bad, as um, Meatloaf said. Uh, so that is my uh, entire Gene Wolf. collection and i love them i love the guy's writing i wish i mean you know as a writer myself wish i wish i could write as good as this dude 